So I want to compare um, the iPad 2022 edition, the 10th generation, with the similarly sized counterpart, the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus. And I want to compare these because um, the price point is very interesting for what you get on these devices. The iPad 2022 um, is north of $400 while right now the galaxy tab a9 plus is a great deal uh can you believe it? it's only 169 dollars brand new um when you get it on amazon so let's compare both of these devices so the uh ipad that one does support the apple pencil so it has some some stylus support but obviously that's going to cost you extra uh, there's no counterpart of a dedicated stylus on the Samsung um, A9 Plus. Um, when we talk about the display, that's the most important thing about the tablets. And you get a liquid retina, you know, pretty nice screen on the iPad. But the uh, Samsung is no slouch. It has a 90 hertz refresh rate. So it actually has a faster, smoother, better um, scrolling on the Samsung than the more expensive um, iPad. So that's a, that's one advantage that the Samsung has. Um, the iPad has a little bit better resolution. Um, we could talk about the software, but uh, the iPad uh, runs iPad OS and it runs um, the newest version of iPad OS, which is the same as the iPhone. And it'll get several more years of updates. On the other hand, the Galaxy uh, tablet it has it started off with android 13 and it might get a couple of more years of updates but it's not as much as the ipad and it has a lot of its own features um just depends on you know if you like you know if you're an apple person or a android person but the you know you're gonna get all the same apps on both of these devices um, when it comes to internal storage, both of these start off at 64 gigs and both of these have four gigs of RAM. The RAM doesn't really matter because um, the performance each company uses acts different. Um, but the external storage, there's none on the iPad, but you do get a micro SD card slot on the Samsung. That's another advantage right there. Um, cameras on these devices, uh, nobody should use the cameras for pictures and video taking on any tablet but in case you're wondering the ipad has a nice camera system 12 megapixel shooter 4k uh the samsung it's not going to be good with the picture situation 8 megapixel shooter with 1080p and then the selfies the ipad is 12 megapixels 1080 samsung 5 megapixels 1080 um no headphone jack on the ipad you do get it on the samsung so nice bonus right there Bluetooth 5.2 on the iPad, 5.1 on Samsung, um, and both of these are rocking the USB Type-C port for charging to unlock your device. Very different here. iPad has a fingerprint, a uh, very snappy sensor to unlock your device, so it has biometrics. The Samsung, on the other hand, is lacking. Um, it does not have a fingerprint sensor, nor does it have uh, any type of uh, super secure Face ID type situation. Um, but you can um, unlock it with 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 your face, but with uh, for security, you're not going to be able to uh, you know open up your your bank apps and stuff like that. But the option is there uh, with face unlock. Um, battery, both of these have great battery lives. They have north of a seven thousand milliamps, so it doesn't really matter. You are going to get great battery life on both of these devices. And also, I forgot to mention on the display, um, they're similar in size, but the iPad is 10.9 inches, but the total uh, display size of 11 inches is a little bit bigger uh, on the Samsung. And both of these have, um, you know, pretty decent fast wire charging at 15 watts on the Samsung. You're going to get similar results, but since the battery is nice and big, you won't really have to worry about that stuff. So... For tablets, I mean, these compare very, very nicely, but all in all, I think the um, iPad is going to be um, the more well-rounded device in general with the processor and you have the ecosystem. 
but it's going to cost you a lot more money. So if you're trying to do any type of work or you're trying to do it for a specific task um, and programs, yeah, the iPad is going to be better suited, but the Apple Pencil is going to cost you a lot more. The starting price of $400 and up is going to be more. Um, it has like kind of these thick bezels all around compared to the um, to the, the device size, um, which stands out a little bit more than the Samsung. Um, but yeah, the it's you know it doesn't have an impressive uh, refresh rate. It doesn't have the extras like the headphone jack or the micro SD card slot, and the price is just a lot. So you know the Samsung really really stands out if you are using the tablet as a general content um device um videos web email all your basic basic stuff w w you know it has a nice big screen that's a point of a tablet you could use a you know a generic stylus if you really do want to draw stuff on the samsung or even on the ipad doesn't matter but if you're you know these aren't meant to be used with you know the keyboards and all that you start adding all that stuff on you know you start to lose um sight of what these devices are built for if you want to do all that crazy stuff you could you know just get a um a macbook or a chromebook or um you know a, a pc but these are mo mostly if you want just a nice big screen to look at your videos and your pictures and your content the cameras on these devices shouldn't really matter because like i said you don't want to be using a tablet for for any type of uh, content um picture taking or video taking so if you strictly use these devices as a canvas for videos and content and games and all that stuff you should be pretty good on choosing the samsung you get a way better deal um for 169 dollars brand new you can get like three of these devices for what you pay on the um on the on the ipad um, and just with the addition of the micro SD card slot, because these comes in at 64 gigs, you can really fill this tablet up um, with movies and music and pretty much all the apps you could need for very cheaply. So with the money left over that you save getting the Samsung, you can get like, you know, a watch, you can get a phone, um, you could even get a Chromebook, you know, you could just with, with the money that you save. Uh, for the similar size uh, screen and you got a higher refresh rate too so both of these compare well but the big uh, the best bang for your buck is getting the samsung but if you want just raw performance and more modern features then yeah the ipad is going to be for you but you're going to have to spend a lot more money so that's been my comparison of the samsung a9 plus uh, against the uh, 10th gen uh, 2022 uh, ipad